If they can do this to me, they can do this to anyone. And these are bad people. These are, in many cases, I believe, sick people. Former President Trump speaking moments ago after he was found guilty on 34 counts in his historic hush money trial. And he is now the first former president to be convicted in a criminal case and is running for president as a felon. And we do start our coverage off today in New York City with our own local tens, Glenna Milburn. She has the latest on the aftermath from this verdict. Glenna. Janice Christie, all throughout this trial, you heard every day the president come out in that courthouse and complain about not being able to be on the campaign trail. Well, apparently today was the day he started that. He took to a podium in the atrium of Trump Tower, where he lives here on Fifth Avenue, and just pretty much unloaded on everything about that trial. He repeated what are, at this point, unfounded, unsubstantiated blasts that the judge was corrupt and the process was rigged and the trial is a political hit job during his run for president. The jury that unanimously found that Trump was involved in falsifying business records to cover hush money payments to porn actress Stormy Daniels to specifically spare his campaign in 2016 from a sex scandal. He was talking about today explaining, oh, those payments to his lawyer, Michael Cohen, purported to be the reimbursement for that hush money. He was saying, no, that's totally legitimate. And, and we clipped a little bit of what he said so you can listen to how he frames that all. Crimes, crimes. They're falsifying business records. That sounds so bad. To me, it sounds very bad. You know, it's only a misdemeanor, but to me, it sounds so bad when they say, Falsifying business, that's a bad thing for me. I've never had that before. I'm falsifying. You know what falsifying business records is? In the first degree. They say falsifying business records sounds so good, right? It means that legal expense, I paid a lawyer, totally legal. I paid a lawyer, a legal expense. And a bookkeeper, without any knowledge from me, correctly marked it down in the books. A very professional woman, highly respected, she testified, marked it down in the books as a legal expense. So a legal expense, paid a lawyer, is a legal expense in the books. It's not uh, sheetrock, construction, or any other thing. It's a legal expense. Think of that. This is what the falsification of business records were. Notice that former President Trump is using no names now because he is still under a gag order. He is ordered not to name people who were in the trial, speak against any person, the judge, name names, and so he does it. But very clearly, he was talking about his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, and his bookkeeper. And the issue he was talking about was sort of framed as the crime by Michael Cohen in a deal to testify against his former boss. Now, you remember during the trial, Cohen had his own credibility issues and was under great scrutiny from both sides on the stand. He spoke this morning. Take a listen to that. I really didn't have a single moment that was tougher than the 21 hours that they had me on the stand, whether it was on direct or on cross-examination. The whole thing was very tough. It's emotionally draining because you have to be perfect. I knew that any mistake that I made would be just, um, it, it, would, it would become the topic of conversation that would just explode. I want to give you a live look as best we can down Fifth Avenue, right in front of Trump Tower, where the world's media has now moved uptown from being based in Lower Manhattan here in the courthouse. Uh, there is what you kind of can't see from from the camera lens venue is there is a huge crowd of people that have gathered. There are Trump flags. There are supporters. That's not unusual. That's kind of here on a daily basis anyway. But it just shows you an indication that Trump supporters are not only unmoved by the conviction, but maybe buoyed by it and in their own convictions that this is a political hit job. In fact, we've seen figures that uh, Trump's fundraising for his election has gone up $35 million in the last 24 hours.
I, I have to check those numbers, but suffice to say that he had a huge fundraising bump from that conviction. So what now? Now the next step is sentencing. As you know, the judges set that for July 11th, and you can bet that all of this world media attention will be right back here for that next month. I'm Glenn well, Milberg, indeed. Live okay, Glenn, yeah, today. It is. Yeah, back to you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah, it's very loud there. We can, I can tell what a uh, circus it has become. Media <laughs> circus. Exactly. Right. All right, Glenna, thank you. Thank